Sand down your furniture surface with a 120 to 220 grit sandpaper. You want to rid the surface of the wood's previous clear coat and stain. Then dust off your surface and wipe it down with a damp rag. We want to change the color of our legs. We did a quick sanding with 220 grit sandpaper, but more importantly, we are going to prime the legs with Styx Primer. We found that Styx Primer provides the best adhesion. Once your primer is completely dry, you can begin painting your legs. A super popular trend we're seeing on Pinterest is dark stained wood and blue legs on furniture. We decided to paint the legs Rhine River by Benjamin Moore. Make sure you use a flat latex paint when painting your legs. Once the legs are fully covered and dry, we are going to move on to staining the surface. Any brand of wood stain is fine. However, we highly recommend using water-based stain. The cleanup is way easier and the dry time is faster. Use a chip brush and brush the stain in the same direction as the grain of the wood. Apply spray adhesive to the back of your stencil to make sure it sticks to the table. Avoid stencil bleed by correctly loading your dense foam roller with paint. Gently and evenly load your roller with paint, just enough to cover it. Make sure there isn't too much paint on the roller, and if there is, offload any excess paint onto the paper towel. On your dry stained tabletop, place a quarter of the mandala on one end of the table. Take your Rhine River paint and lightly roll it over your mandala stencil. Now, place your stencil on the opposite corner and repeat. We wanted to give the legs some character, so we are going to antique them with glaze. You can buy brown glaze, or you can just make your own. All you need is one part raw umber acrylic paint and three parts clear glazing medium. Dry brush all the corners and edges for an authentic antique look. You can use a chip brush or a small flat paintbrush. We decided to dry brush a little bit of glaze on top of the mandalas to lessen the contrast between blue and dark brown. Once the brown glaze has dried on the tabletop, it's time to move on to our final step, clear coating. Take a four inch dense foam roller and apply water-based polyurethane to the surface. Two coats of this will protect your gorgeous new table from scratches and spills.